Hey, I'm the Kinderman Movies, and I watched the Glass Onion, A Knives Out Mystery, so I'm gonna review it. If you love movies like me, I recommend hitting the subscribe button down below or liking the video, it helps me out, and let's get started with the review. So, before I start this review, I just need to give you guys some information on, um, background, basically. Um, I have not seen the first Knives Out, even after watching the second one. I have still not seen the first Knives Out. I was planning to, but then I found out I don't need to watch it for the second one, so I didn't. Um, so, if my review is, like, not as good, I haven't seen the first one, so I don't know, really know, like, this director's style. I just only seen the second one, not the first Knives Out. I am planning to watch, I am planning to watch the first one eventually, but not right now. Probably not the, for the rest of this year, but I will watch it eventually. And then, um... I am not a fan of mystery detective movies. They're just not my thing. The only detective story that was like um that I liked was the Batman and that's really it. I'm not really a big fan of detective stories. Okay, so now that you know all this, let's get on with the review. So my reviews my review for Glass Onion. What did I think of it? I was surprised. I actually really enjoyed this film. I mean, like, yes, I, um, was checking the time to see how much was... I was checking the time to see how much time was left of the movie a couple of times. But other than that, I enjoyed this film. Um, the mystery was really good. Uh, I was upset for the only character they killed off in this film. Because the character they killed off is also like one of my favorite guys they had in the cast. So I, w I was disappointed with that. But the cast I did enjoy as well. I think it was a good group of cast. And yeah. I enjoyed this film. For being a detective film, I actually really enjoyed it. It really surprised me as well. After watching this, I definitely want to watch Knives Out now. Um, yeah, this this film was just fun, and it's something I want to rewatch because it's something that if you rewatch, you will find more stuff that you missed the first time. I thought the mystery was very well put together. I liked how, like, in the middle, it kind of like explained everything everything that was happening. I like that concept as well. I just, I, I enjoyed this film. I found it to be really good, and I'm sure you guys would agree with me on that, but I can't really compare it to the first Knife South, because like I said, I have not seen it. So, on, I'm, on Rotten Tomatoes, I'm giving Glass Onion a 80%, which is actually good for me, because I have, I'm not a fan of detective stories, so 80% for me is really good. Because, like I said, I'm not a fan of detective stories. But, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye.